In this tutorial, we're going to mostly take a look at solving systems by substitution. There's four examples here all together. But there are times when elimination is a little bit more convenient a method to use. So that's why the OR elimination is here. And I'll talk about that when we get to that particular example. Substitution is most convenient when y or x, or whatever your variables are, can be fairly easily solved for y or x and not get into any rational expressions, any fractions. And so what that often translates into is if the coefficients of x or y or whatever your variables are, you have at least one coefficient of either 1 or negative 1. And so the first equation here, the 5x plus y equals 4, 1, there's a coefficient of 1. This is a 1y, so it's fairly easy to rearrange and isolate y. So let's write the first equation down. And uh, so the 5x is added to the y. So I'm going to subtract 5x to isolate the y term. See those uh, 5x's? They, uh, we often see people like cross them out because they add to 0. So that's what it means when I do that. 5x minus 5x is 0x, or 0. So y is equal to 4 minus 5x. So I've isolated in the first equation for y. I've solved for y. So now what you do is you substitute that into the second equation. So I'm going to rewrite the second equation, or write the second equation. And so this is what y equals here. So I'm going to substitute that in place of y here in the second equation. So I'm going to write the second equation down, 3x plus 2, and instead of putting y here, I'm going to put 4 minus 5x in place of the y. That's why it's called substitution. You're putting that 4 minus 5x in place of the y it equals negative 6. So let's uh, expand now. So 3x and the 2 gets distributed into the brackets here. So 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times negative 5x is minus 10x and equals the negative 6. So let's collect like terms. 3x minus 10x is negative 7x plus the 8 equals the negative 6. So I, I want to solve for x here. See, after I do the substitution, now I have an equation that just has x in it. So I can find what x is. I can solve for x. So I want to isolate the negative 7x term next. So I want to get rid of this 8. So the opposite of adding 8 is to uh, subtract 8 from both sides. So let's do that next. And so uh, 8 minus 8 is nothing. So I'll just have, or 0. So I'll just have negative 7x on the left. And negative 6 take away 8 is negative 14. So I've isolated the negative 7x term. Now I want to solve for x, or isolate the x. So I want to get rid of the negative 7. When I say negative 7x, that negative 7 is multiplied by the x. So the opposite of multiplied by negative 7 is to divide by negative 7. And so we say the negative 7s divide out. Now this looks kind of suspiciously close to what I did up here. But when it's negative 7 divided by negative 7, that's 1. So we just have a 1x on the left. And negative 14 divided by negative 7 is 2. So 2 is what I think x is. So now I need to find what y is. So substitute 2 in place of x. And I'm going to use the y equals 4 minus 5x. It's OK to use one of the intermediate questions, um, equations, as long as you're checking. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to use the y equals 4 minus uh, 5x equation. I'm going to put this 2, I think x is 2, in place of x here. So I'm going to put 2 there. So it would be 5 times 2 subtracted from the 4. So 5 times 2 is 10, so this is 4 take away 10, which is negative 6. So this is what I think my solution is. I think that x is 2 and y is negative 6. And this is why you check. Okay, So uh, in the two equations, I'm going to check and make sure that 2 and negative 6 makes both of these true statements. So let's do the 5x plus y equals 4 one first. So what's on the left side is the 5x plus y. So I'm going to put 2 in place of x and negative 6 in place of y. So 5 times 2 is 10, and minus 6, or at plus negative 6. So it's 10 minus 6, which is 4. And 4 is what's on the right side. So that does equal the right side expression. So that point satisfies this first equation. Now let's check in the second one. So what's on the left is the 3x plus 2y expression. So again, I'm putting 2 for x here, and negative 6 for y. So 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, so uh, we're adding negative 12 or subtracting 12. 6 minus 12 is negative 6, and see negative 6 is what's on the right side, so that equals the right side expression, so it checks in that one too.
So make a concluding statement with these. Since the left and right sides are equal in both equations, it has to be both, then the solution is x equals 2 and y equals negative 6, or you could also say that these two lines intersect at the point 2 comma negative 6. The x coordinates 2, the y coordinates negative 6. Second um, system of equations, uh, and again we have a coefficient of 1 here. There's a 1y in the second equation, so that's fairly convenient to isolate for y. We don't have to get into any fractions. So I'm going to isolate for y here. The, the y has a 2x added to it, so the opposite of adding 2x is to subtract 2x from both sides, of course. So if that's gone. There's 0x here, so we would have y minus 1 equals negative 2x. And now I want to isolate for y. I'm going to get rid of this minus 1. The opposite of subtracting 1 is to add 1 to both sides. So now uh, I could, uh, I could have put plus 1 up here instead of uh, the 1 in front. So I, I would just have negative 2x plus 1 on the right side instead. And either is fine. It doesn't really matter. So those add to 0, so I just have y on the left and equals 1 minus 2x or negative 2x plus 1. That is the same thing. So I, I solved the second equation for y, so it's the first equation we're going to be substituting into. So there's my first equation. And, uh, and once again, that is what y equals. So we're going to substitute that and place a y right there. So 3x plus and 4, and instead of writing y, we're writing 1 minus 2x in place of the y, minus the 14 equals 0. So let's distribute this 4 into the bracket. So 3x plus 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times negative 2 is x is negative 8x. And then, of course, minus the 14 equals 0. Uh, let's collect some like terms. 3x minus 8x is negative 5x. And 4 take away 14 is negative 10. I want to isolate for x, so let's isolate the negative 5x term first. So let's get rid of this negative 10. So the opposite of subtract to 10 would be to add 10 to both sides. So that's gone, so we just have negative 5x on the left, and 0 plus 10 is 10. So I've isolated the x term, now I want to solve for x. So I want to get rid of this negative 5. It's multiplied by the x, so the opposite of multiply by negative 5 is to divide by negative 5. So that divides out to give us just x on the left here, and 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. So negative 2 is my uh, solution for x, so now I need to find y. So let's find y uh, by substituting the negative 2, and we could use either equation, it really doesn't matter which. I'm going to use the second one, okay? but I could use the first one too. So negative 2 is going to go right in here. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus the y minus 1 equals 0. So let's combine, combine some like terms. Negative 4 and negative 1 is negative 5. So this is the same as y minus 5 equals 0. I'm trying to solve for y, so I'm going to get rid of this negative 5. So the opposite of subtracting 5 is to add 5 to both sides. So that adds to 0, so we just have y on the left here would equal 5, because 0 plus 5 is 5. So this is what I think my solution is. I think that x is negative 2 and y is 5. So let's take a look at a couple of checks now. So we're going to check in each one. So this is the first e equation. So 3x plus 4y minus 14 is the left side expression. And so I'm putting negative 2 for x and 5 in place of y. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Uh, 4 times 5 is 20 minus the 14. Now notice that negative 6 and negative 14 add to negative 20 which just to together, the two of those are the opposite of the plus 20 here. So that's why this adds 0. And 0 is what's on the right side. So it does equal the right side expression. So let's check in the second equation now. The left side expression is the 2x plus y minus 1. So 2x plus y minus 1. And once again, we're putting negative 2 for x, 5 for y. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus the 5 minus 1. And similar up here, negative 4 and negative 1 add to negative 5. And that's the opposite of the plus 5 here. So all that adds to 0. 0 is what's on the right side, so it checks in the second one. So here's my concluding statement. So left and right sides are the same in both equations. So x is 2 and y is negative 5. Or we could say the lines intersect at the point negative 2, comma 5. 
third one, third uh, example here, um, and this is the one that's more convenient to solve by elimination. And the reason for that is that the um, um, the coefficients of a and b here, there's no ones or negative ones. So if I solve any of these for a or b, I'm going to get into some fractions. Okay, and and that can work as long as if you're Arithmetic with fractions is fine. You can do that. It's a little more complicated, but elimination is a little bit more convenient here. So I've I've labeled these uh, equations one and two, and I'm going to eliminate the a. I could have done the b just as easily. So the least common multiple of two and three is six. So I'm going to try to make these both six a's. So I'm going to take the first equation and multiply it by three because that will make that a six a. I got I have to multiply the whole equation by three though. So uh, three times the five b is fifteen b, and three times is five, and the end is fifteen. Now I want a six a at the beginning here. So the second equation I'll multiply that by two to make that a six a. So second equation gets multiplied by two. So two times three a is six a. Two times the four b, sorry, two b is four b, and two times the thirteen is twenty six. Now these terms are the same same or like things subtract to zero they don't add okay so they're both positive 6a's so that's why I subtract so 6a minus 6a is no a's I don't bother write the a term here 0a is the same as 0 15b minus 4b is 11b and 15 minus 26 is negative 11 now I want to isolate or solve for b now so I'm going to divide out this 11 so that divides out so I get b equals negative 1 because negative 11 divided by positive 11 is negative 1. So now that I know that b is negative 1, I can find a. And you can use either equation. I'm going to use the first one here, and I'm going to put negative 1 in here. I'm going to solve for a here. So negative 1 here. 5 times negative 1 is uh, minus 5, so the same as 2a minus 5 equals 5. Now I want to isolate the a term, so I'm going to get rid of this subtract 5. The opposite of adding, sorry, subtracting 5 is to add 5. So let's add 5 to both sides. So that's 0. So we would just have 2a on the left here would equal 10. And to, to solve for a, we want to get rid of this 2. The 2 is multiplied by the a. So the opposite of multiplying by a is to divide, sorry, multiplying by, the opposite of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2. So those 2's divide out to give you 1a and uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5 so we think that a is 5 so this is what we think our solution is that a is 5 and that b is negative 1 so let's check in the two equations so this is the first one so 2a plus 5b is what's on the left and so we're going to put 5 in place of a and negative 1 in place of b here 2 times 5 is 10 and 5 times negative 1 is minus 5 so 10 minus 5 is 5, and 5 is what's on the right side, so it checks in the first equation. Let's take a look at the second one. 3a plus 2b is the left side expression. So again, 5 going in place a, and negative 1 going in place of b. So 3 times 5 is 15, 2 times negative 1 is minus 2, and 15 minus 2 is 13, which is what's on the right side. So it is, on, it is equal to the right side expression or number. So that the left and right sides work out to be the same thing in both equations. So a is 5 and b is negative 1. Or we could say the lines intersect at the point 5, negative 1. Now notice we have a and b here, not x and y. Um, unless you do different, we would just assume that uh, a is on the horizontal axis and b is the vertical. Like x is on the horizontal axis, y is on the vertical. If you knew differently, then you might call it the point negative 1, comma 5. Uh, last equation, number four here. Now, in number four, you actually could isolate this for y or this for x as conveniently either one of them um, because they both have coefficients of one. Okay, so it really wouldn't matter. I'm going to solve this one for y, rearrange for y, but you could, we could have done for x here just as easily. So the y has a 3x added to it, so the opposite of adding 3x would be to take 3x away from both sides. So that adds or subtracts to 0, so y would equal 8 minus 3x. So we solved the first equation for y, so I'm going to rewrite, or not I'm rewrite, I'm going to write my second equation down. And so this is what y equals, so we're going to substitute that in place of y right there. 
So we're re we'll uh, write the second equation, x minus 3, and in place of y, we're putting this 8 minus 3x minus 6 equals 0. Now I have an equation that just has x after the substitution, so I can solve for x. So let's distribute the negative 3 into the brackets here. So x, and then negative 3 times 8 is negative 24. Negative 3 times negative 3x is 9x, minus 6 equals 0. So let's collect some like terms. 1x and 9x is 10x, and negative 24 minus 6 is minus 30. Now I want to solve for x here, so I want to isolate the 10x term. So let's get rid of the minus 30. The opposite of subtracting 30 is to add 30 to both sides. So that adds to 0, and we'll just have 10x on the left. Uh, 0 plus 30 is 30. So this tells me that 10 times x is 30, but I don't want to know what 10 times x is. I want to know what x is. So we're going to get rid of this 10 by dividing out a 10. See, the 10 is multiplied by the x, so the opposite of multiplying by 10 is divide by 10. And on the left here, uh, 10 divided by 10 is 1, so that's why this is going to be a 1x on the left, and 30 divided by 10 is uh, 3, so x is 3. So um, that's my uh, what I think x equals. Now I want to find y. And I can take uh, either equation here. It doesn't matter. I could use this one too, I suppose. I'm going to use the, uh, the first one. So I'm going to put 3 in place of x here. So it will be 3 times 3 plus y equals 8. Uh, so 3 times 3 is 9 plus y equals 8. So I'm trying to solve for y here. It has a 9 added to it. So the opposite of adding 9 is to take away 9. So I'm going to take away 9 from both sides. So that's gone. y would equal 8 minus 9 is negative 1. So I think that my solution is x is 3 and y is negative 1. So let's check now. So first equation is the 3x plus y equals 8, 1. So 3x plus y is the left side expression. So 3 in here and negative 1 in place of y. So 3 times 3 is 9, uh, adding negative 1, subtracting 1. So 9 take away 1 is 8, which is what the right side equals. So it checks in the first. Let's do the second one now. So x minus 3y minus 6 is the left side expression. So again, 3 in place of x, negative 1 in place of y. So we had this 3 here. Now negative 3 minus multiplied by negative 1 is positive 3 uh, minus the 6. So that's 6. Take away the 6 is 0, which is what's on the right side. Okay, So it does uh, check in that one as well. So the left side and right side expressions are the same when we put uh, 3 and negative 1 for x and y. So that's the solution. Or we could say the lines intersect the point comma, uh, sorry, the point 3 comma negative 1. And that's the end of the tutorial.